Just to sort of summarize overall, what we saw is that lorlatinib is very active in ALK-positive patients, including in those patients who have failed crizotinib or patients who have failed multiple ALK-TKIs. In the crizotinib-resistant group, we saw a response rate of about 70% um, with lorlatinib, so very active in the post-crizotinib setting. Um, we did not yet have a median progression-free survival, but looks very active the way other second-generation inhibitors are active post-crizotinib. But what's unique with lorlatinib is that we actually have data from the phase two showing that it also has activity in patients who have failed a second-generation inhibitor like seritinib, electinib, or brigatinib. And here the response rate was in the range of 35 to 40 percent, so a little bit lower than the post-crizotinib setting. And, uh, but we did see really impressive intracranial responses, even after failure of prior brain penetrable drugs. And median progression free survival in these patients who had failed a second generation inhibitor was in the range of about five and a half to seven months. So that's the overall sort of data, efficacy data that we observed in the phase two study.